Hey guys, Ray from Love Your RV and Boat. So I'm back with a quick test of this SFK battery. I reviewed it last year, pretty comprehensive review, I had about four videos on it. But one thing I wasn't able to test was its uh, low temperature uh, charging. It has built-in heaters, but uh, because I migrate north and south, I'm rarely in a space where it's really cold. But this morning, we're out in the desert and it's uh, quite a chilly morning. Left the battery out, you can see 24 Fahrenheit, 26 Fahrenheit, 26 Fahrenheit. So it's a good time to uh, do a test here. Now it does have a button on the top. You should be able to press and turn the heater on. There we go. It's discharging under let's read the BMS settings here. Oh, I don't have low temperature discharging. So there's a low temperature discharging I have to turn on first. Update that. Because it should discharge fine to down to, I think, around minus four. Okay, let's just go back to the front here. Now we should be able to turn that switch on, turn on the heating pads. There we go, they're on. See how many amps. So we're pulling negative 0.77, almost almost seven amps out of the battery there. And that'll slowly raise the amperage or the, the heat in the battery. So it does seem to work. Now the other way would be to hook a charger on. So I'm just gonna turn this off. This is like sort of a manual button to, to turn on charging. There, it's off now. Just show you that once more. Let's turn it on. You can see the amperage start up as the heating pads turn on. There we go. And off. So we'll fire on the charger, I'll hook it up, and it should automatically start heating. Okay, so I have the charger hooked up. I'm just going to turn it on. See what happens here. Turn it on. It's putting out 14.6 volts. What kind of amperage do we have? nine amps so we're putting nine amps into the battery right now this is not showing the cells aren't charging at all because they have a low temperature protection on and this button is off so yeah even with the button off the heating pads are drawing nine amps and they're slowly heating up I should be able to see the temp rise here. So we'll let that run and I'll let you know how long it's taking to uh, heat this battery up. So here's a recording of my phone screen roughly 13 minutes later and you can see the temperatures came up. It's showing the two cell cell pads, heating pads there, and then the BMS temperature, that's the three different temperatures. So once the it came up past uh, freezing, then it triggered off the heating pads, and now you can see it's starting to uh, charge. I have a little 40 amp charger on it. 
So everything seems to work as uh, it's supposed to. So there you go. The self-heating uh, pads seem to work properly. So you can use this battery in uh, low temperature situations. I have seen that they have a newer generation of this button pad. Um, I saw a video on it after this and different generation came up with some different features. Also, recently I saw them post a video on this uh, battery. There's a data port and you can connect that to, I think it's an Android uh, phone or tablet and update the firmware in this and kind of add some more features to it. Anyway, I'll link back to their website if you want to explore that further. And also I'll link to uh, my videos on this battery that I've done previously. I'm probably going to be uh, putting this into our boat this summer. I want to replace uh, four big golf cart batteries that are in there and use this as one of my house banks. So stay tuned for that. Till next time, Ray from Love Your RV and Boat. Cheers, guys.